My friend, my friend, we're gonna be doing John B. Sales. Now, if you don't have the book, that's okay. We're gonna play along, I'm gonna tell you the chords, but I suggest snagging this book. I'm not sponsored by them, but I do work from it. I, and I do enjoy the book. It's well laid out and it's fun to learn from. In this song, there are two sharps. If we were in the key of C, we would have none. C, D, E, F, G, A. So when we go one, two, three, four, five, and then six, we have our minor six, meaning all the notes inside C major are all the notes inside of A minor. So when we see a key signature, there's actually two things we're looking for. We're looking for what is our relative minor. So this one has two sharps, which means we are in the key of D. The reason being, C has no sharps and flats. C, D, E, F, G. G now has one sharp, and that fa 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 sharp is F sharp. So we add that to the next key. What's our next key? Well, we go five from that F sharp. F sharp. G sharp, A sharp, B sharp, C sharp. Boom! So we know our next sharp is gonna be a C sharp. How do we know what key it's in? Well, what was the last key we were in? C add none, G add one. All right, G, A, B, C, D. D has two sharps. So when we say the chord, we're referring to D major, E minor. Here's an F sharp minor. We have a G major. We have an A major. We're going to be moving this up to a B minor. That's our relative minor. And then our secondary sharp is going to be our C sharp diminished, which can be played by putting one finger down here on the D string, one finger on the B string. It can be played with any finger, he said. But what I'd also suggest is barring the first fret, not the first fret, second fret, and then playing your second finger on the third fret. That also gives you the same chord. Ow! So for this song, you might recognize this as maybe like an old folk classic or a Beach Boys song. I think Beach Boys did a good cover of this. Um, if not, Google it. Prove me wrong in the comments section. Uh, my brain might be failing here. So here's the melody where our second finger is going to be on the second fret. We're going to play so and then second fret up here for our F sharp. We've got an A, F sharp, F sharp, G, F sharp. A, F sharp, F sharp, G, F sharp, rest. F, F sharp, F sharp, G, A. We're going to be walking that back down. A, G, F sharp, E, two, three. We're going to play down on the second, uh, third fret here of the G string. And we're going to have an A sharp. Nope, that's not right. Sorry, second fret. <laughs> we're going to have an A, which is in the key. A, we're going to go to a B, and then a C sharp, and then land ourselves on the D. That's the melody over the top of a G, uh, over a D. Then we're going to have a rest, 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 and then do the same motif, but we're going to be playing from the D then. So we have a three with our third finger. Feels good. On the B string. So there's a D note. We have an open E. F sharp, and then land on the top note for the G. That's also where we're going to be playing a chord. Hold that out for another uh, three beats because a half note's been dotted, which means a dotted half note takes the value of a half note, which is two, and then adds half of it. Well, what's half of two? One. What's two plus one? Three. So when we count that out, we're going to say, oh! rest. Therefore, we have a full measure of four beats because this is in the time signature of Four, four. The last line is going to have that top G. G, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, D, rest. E, E, D, C sharp, D. All of these have the possibility for the chord. If we go slow, you can play it in chord pro, which means we're doing finger style. And we can also do a little rhythmic thing where we're attacking the note kind of with a, a finger. So act like you're holding something and come at it with your thumb. Or, I'm sorry, not your thumb, your the fingernail on your pointer. Like, boom, right there. Yeah. So, when we're starting this, let's go kind of slow. One, two, three, four. We have a pickup note on the four. So, one, two, three. So, hold up the John B. Sail. Two, three. See how the mainsail set. Two, three. Rest. Send for the captain ashore, let me go home, two, three, four, one. Let me go home, two, three, four, one. 
Let me go home, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I feel so broke up, rest. I want to go home. Now, there are a multitude of different verses. I would suggest trying to link up the same words with this and get the rhythm of it. And once you have a little swagger and pizzazz, try doing a little half step moves into it. It's going to really lighten up what you're doing and give you something fun to add to your play and here it is one two three four so. Take it on home. What I'm doing at the end here is called a vamp. Generally on the end, when you have that in music, you'll have it in the marking as a vamp. And or you might just have one chord that has a fermata over the top of it. At that point, look at the person who wrote the song. They'll cue you in on how long it should last. Anywho, I had a great time. I hope you did too. Thumbs up, subscribe if you dig it. If not, uh, check out Rick Beato.